guys, we have so much trickery and spying apps on our phones that it's not even funny anymore. Installed not one, not two, but three spying apps. Android Key Verifier, Android System Intelligence, Android System, uh, what's it called, Safety Core. They have all such beautiful names, but it's all working against us. They're using our cameras, microphones, the internet to, to track and watch us all day and send that information to Google and God knows where else. Um, only imagine how much battery this this uses up 24 7 it's going on there are apps like um, digital well-being well what does it do it tracks your behavior all day which app you use for how much time and then you have statistics for it well have you ever heard of this app have you ever used it do you know of anyone that uses it of course not, because we, the people, we don't need this information. They want this information. On you! You know why? So they can give you personalized ads and make a lot of money with it. And you know, what, what else are they going to do with it? Just imagine. Well, I don't want these apps or phone settings that, uh, that are using my battery all the time. So instead of charging my phone every three days, I have to charge it every day only for the sake of No, 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 no. Listen, we're going to disable all these apps and um, edit all these um, evil phone settings. Come with me. Let's dive into it. All right, let's start by disabling those three system apps, the spying apps. After that, we go and disable a few other apps and change settings for device scanning, printer scanning and stuff like that. Click on settings. Scroll down to apps. Click on apps. It's a system app, so for the three dots in the upper right corner for Android 12. I don't have Android 12, I have a more modern version, Android 14. Click on this icon and click on show system apps and confirm with OK at the bottom. Now, we have here one, two, three, intelligence, key verifier, and safety core. Let's start with the worst one, Android system intelligence. Click on it. Scroll down a little bit to mobile data and disallow background data usage. Go back, click on battery, put it on restricted. Go back. Um, and disable the app. Click here, disable app. Go back. The next one is called Android System Key Verifier. Click on it, do exactly the same. Scroll down to mobile data, disallow background data usage, go back, click on battery, put it on restricted. Uninstall. Okay. I don't do this because this is a phone for showing and if I go wrong here then I have to reinstall it first. Cancel. Go back. Go back again. And we have only one left Android system. Save the core. Click on it and do exactly the same here. I'm not going to show you to save time. Those are the three apps. We have saved a lot of, uh, of battery drainage already now I see you guys in the next step and that will be digital well-being to get to this app we click on settings just normal phone settings scroll down somewhere at the bottom you see digital well-being 
click on it. This app has nothing to do with our well-being, as it's just recording the times that we use each app. Nobody uses this, so we're going to switch it off. Click on the three dots in the upper right corner. Click on settings. Then scroll down to usage data access. Click on it. Open the settings. And disallow permission. That's it. I see you in the next part, which is unnecessary device scanning. To get there, again, open settings, click on Google, and uh, click on all services, scroll down to devices, only on Android 12, it's called devices and sharing, and after that you see the button devices, we, Android 14 I'm on, Click on devices, it is turned off on my phone already, but you on your phone it will be on, switch it off. We don't need uh, to scan uh, for devices uh, in the background all day, because if we want, want to connect with um, to a Wi-Fi network, then we just go to connections and we switch it on there, and we, <laughs> we pick one and we connect. Oh, all right, the next one, unless you are using a lot of printers in combination with your cell phone, you should turn this feature off. Click on settings, I'm in settings already. Click on connections, no, I know a faster way. Just click on the search icon in settings and type nearby. I have it I have it searched already uh, before so I only have to click on this and then you click on nearby device scanning and you just switch it off all right we did that your phone is going to be uh, using up a lot less battery now for the rest I have a few tips for you uh, before I forget this Please like and subscribe, we all need this for the YouTube algorithm, otherwise our videos won't, uh, <laughs> won't be watched. Um, first advice, if you swipe down twice on your phone, the quick settings, check if you're using a mobile hotspot or Bluetooth. These two uh, things can take your battery down even in hours. Also, the brightness of your screen, if you're on your phone and it's uh, very bright, but it goes twice as fast with the battery than if you keep it a little bit low. The first time I uploaded this video, it was basically censored by YouTube, as I used, well, what ChatGPT told me afterwards. I had to take it down, by the way, and I'm doing it again now. ChatGPT told me I'm accusing Google, I have to call it, of nasty stuff and I shouldn't do that and that's why the video is not getting any traction I should take it all out, so I did. I, um, what I want to do now is uh, use the opportunity, what I forgot in the video, is to tell you what these three spying apps exactly do and what they pretend to be doing. So let's start with the um, Android System Intelligence app. That app pretends to be tracking your behavior to be helpful with uh, filling in words in chats and uh, suggesting uh, certain things uh, to you. Well, the reality is that they gave this app camera permissions microphone permissions and internet permissions so even if your phone is just lying on the table you can listen to conversations you have with your wife with your friends or business talk anything and it can just send it over to our masters and god knows what they're gonna do with it all right second app is called android system safety core 
This one claims to be scanning our images we send with WhatsApp, Instagram or other chat apps and it scans them for nudity. This is to protect our children and uh, well it's, it's so dodgy because as we are logged into Google all of the time <laughs> But they know exactly how old I am. So why is this app even on my phone? Most people are adults, so we shouldn't have, it shouldn't be that we all have this app on our phone. The reality is they just want, basically we are the cattle, they are the masters, we are fenced in, they control, they, they well, they listen, on us with the camera and uh, the microphone, but they also want to have access to all of our images and imagine a lot of people will have images on their phone they can be blackmailed with. Okay, the third um, app is called Android System Key Verifier and that one controls your keys. Well, that sounds cool and it is more or less cool but they just found a very good excuse they say it's uh, to protect your login and um, <coughs> sorry and uh, protect the uh, banking apps but you know 20 years ago look this is called a bank token we use it in Holland since 20 years <laughs> This control, this controls all the encrypted keys. So I control the keys. The, the banking app gives me a number. I put it in here. A number comes out and I give it to, I, I type it in and that's the checkup. We don't need a key verifier to, to control our banking apps to make them more secure. More secure is not having any of these apps on our phones, of course, because if, if all this stuff falls in the wrong hands, well, then you, you're just giving your complete uh, life away, isn't this? <laughs> okay, that's it. Listen, I've got, I, I'm pretty new here. I've got so much more stuff to tell about phone security and apps. And uh, please subscribe so you will hear all of that. And, um, See you guys in the next video.